caught me reading again. This time I was reading fairy tales. Welcome to story time. We're going to talk about authors again. Today we're talking about the author Bill Martin Jr. Should we go get his books? I should go get his books. I'll be right back. Hello again and welcome to story time. I of course am Miss Hannah and this month our theme is authors and illustrators. As a reminder, the author writes the words and the illustrator colors the pictures. Our author for this week is Bill Martin Jr. He is one of my favorite authors. He's written a lot of books and we're going to read a few of them. Our first one is that we're going to do a double. Can you do a double one with me? We've got Chicka Chicka Boom Boom and Chicka Chicka One, Two, Three. We're going to start with Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And this is by Bill Martin Jr. and John, John Archambault. And it's illustrated by Lois Ein, Einlert. Oop, there was a bookmark in there. Here we go. You can say stuff with me if you want while we read it. Here we go. A told B, B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. We said D to E, F, G, I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K all on the way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming, L-M-N-O-P. And Q-R-S, T-U-V. Still more, W and X, Y and Z. The whole alphabet is up the, oh no. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Skit, scat, stoodle, dot, flip, flap, flee. Everybody's running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dealer and dust off their pants. Help us up, cry ABC. Next in a pile is Skinny D. Stub toe E and patched up F. Little, they comes G all out of breath. <gasps> H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted up like a tie. M is looped and is stuck. Dooped. Oh, is all alley oop. Skit, scat, doodle doop. Flip, flop, flee. Look who's coming. Black eyed P. Q R S and loose tooth T. Then U V W wiggle jiggle free. Last two come as X Y Z and the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But Chicka, chicka, boom, boom, look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. There, double there, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. And I like letters, don't you? I think we should read the number one now. The second book of our group is Chicka Chicka One Two Three, and this is also by Bill Martin Jr. This is, but this is by Michael Sampson and illustrated by Lois Elhart, same person who did the last one. So it's a little bit different, but similar. So here we go. Ready? One told two, two told three. I'll raise you to the top of the apple tree. It's different this time. It's a coconut tree last time. Now it's an apple tree. Clive said four, two, five, and six. Bright little numbers join the mix. Hurry yelled seven to number eight. Slowpoke fellow who's always late. 
Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Here comes the nine to the apple tree. Next come ten and then eleven. Wow, these apples taste like heaven. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Hot pink, twelve. Lucky thirteen. Picking apples both red and green. Fourteen, fifteen. Can't you see they all want to climb to the top of the apple tree? Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Do you know what number that is? Who's wondering? Do you know? Sixteen's next. To make the scene, climb in with branches with number seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, then there's twenty. Numbers, numbers, all a plenty. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Curvy 30 and flat foot 40 climbing up to join the party. 50s Dan, fine, and 60s Dandy. 70s hair is long and sandy. Do you like 70s hair? Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Let's climb, let's climb more, says treetop 80. See him way up there? Higher and higher, up to 90. Until at last there's 99 and all the numbers are feeling fine. Except for zero, who begins to cry. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? No. Buzzing close. Bumblebees. Zero hides behind the tree. Can you see him? He's hiding. Get out of the tree! The bumblebee shouts, and all the numbers tumble out. Seventy eight, ninety, eighty, seventy fall. Hit the ground in a free for all. 60, 50, 40, run. No more climbing, no more fun. And 30's next, and sweet little 20. Numbers, numbers, all a plenty. Seven, 19, 18, my oh my, frightened numbers jump and fly. 17, 16, 15 more. Now 14 has hit the floor. 13 to unlucky guy. 12 has almost touched the sky. Beat up 11. Wait, where's 10? Do you see 10? Can you see him in our picture? He's hiding way up there. 9, 8, 7, follow them. Twist up 6. Top hat five, four, three, two, one, take a dive. Look at all the numbers down here. They're all broken and hurt. Eight's broken. That one's all twisty. That one's all twisty. Oh, chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Now I know the place for me. Zero leaps into the sky. Brave little number, he's not shy. Zero lands on top of the tree, joins with ten. Now, one hundred, you see. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Here's just the place, here's the place that's just for me. All the numbers come back out, higher and higher as they shout. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Zero's the hero of the number tree. Here's all the numbers. That's a lot of numbers. Can you count that high? Okay. 
Let's go sing our alphabet song, and maybe we'll say the alphabet some fun ways too. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's sing the ABC, our ABCs. Ready? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Are you going to sing with me this time? Should we sing it silly? Should we sing it really high pitched? Let's do it like that, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right. Let's do it like dinosaurs. Ready? Can you do a dinosaur one? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, A, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I dinosaur know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. Do you know your ABCs now? Let's go read some more books. Our next group of books are ones that you may have heard of the original, but I've got different versions of them. Okay. So, you may have heard of Brown Bear. I bet most of you have heard of Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? Well, Mr. Martin wrote a couple other ones. He wrote Panda Bear, and he wrote Polar Bear. So. We're going to read the other two so that you guys get a, a little bit more of his, his um, bibliography, which is a big fancy word for all the books he wrote. So we're going to start with Polar Bear, and it's not what do you see, it's what do you hear. So help me listen. Are you listening? Ready? This is by Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? This is by Bill Martin Jr. and illustrated by Eric Carl. He's the one that did all the... Caterpillar books. Very Hungry Caterpillar. He illustrated this book for Mr. Martin. Ready? Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Can you roar? Roar! Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Can you snort? Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear, hear a flamingo. Fluting in my ear. Can you flute? <laughs> I don't know how the flamingo sounds. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Zebras actually laugh. Can you laugh like a zebra? Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Can you hiss? Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. You trump it like an elephant, you go, <laughs> good job. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard, leopard snarling in my ear. Can you snarl? <laughs> leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. It kind of does sound like a yelp. It goes, yep. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing, be bellowing in my ear. Can you bell like a walrus? Wah! Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Can you whistle? You're good at that. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, snorting like a hippopotamus, Fluting like a flamingo, braying like a zebra, hissing like a boa constrictor, trumpeting like an elephant, snarling like a leopard, yelping like a peacock, billowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. Look at all of the children. Isn't that fun? They're pretending to be animals. The end. All right, are you ready to do the other one? Here's Panda Bear. Once again, this is by Bill Martin Jr. and illustrated by Eric Carl. This is Panda Bear, Panda Bear, what do you see? So, here we go. These are endangered animals. Here we go. Panda Bear, Panda Bear, what do you see? 
I see a bee, bald eagle soaring by me. Can you pretend to soar? Bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? I see a water buffalo charging at me. Can you charge like a water buffalo? Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? I see a spider monkey swinging by me. Can you pretend to swing like a spider monkey? Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle swimming by me. Can you swim like a sea turtle? Green sea turtle, green sea turtle, what do you see? I see a macaroni penguin strutting by me. Can you strut like a penguin? Macaroni, macaroni penguin, what do you see? I see a sea lion splashing by me. Can you splash? I think the macaroni penguin's hair looks kind of silly, don't you? Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a red wolf sneaking by me. Can you sneak like a red wolf? Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane flying by me. Can you whoop like, like the whooping crane? Whoop! Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strolling by me. Can you stroll like a black panther? Or maybe you'll make the Wakanda symbol for me. Black Panther, Black Panther, what do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. Dreaming child, dreaming child, what do you see? I see a panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green sea turtle, macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, a black panther, all wild and free. That's what I see. The end. I think we should go act like some of those animals like we've done before. It's fun to act like animals. Let's go act like some animals. In this book, Polar Bear, Polar Bear, what do you see? Or what do you hear? Mr. Martin gives us a lot of animal sounds to make. So you can you help me make some animal sounds? I'm going to open the book and you, you help me make that sound. All right, we got polar bears first. So can you growl like a polar bear? Roar! Good job. Now next is the lion. Can you roar like a lion? Can you go roar, roar. Then we get the hippo and he snorts. Ready? Can you snort like a hippo? Okay. Let's see. Next is a flamingo and it says a flute. Can you go flute like a flamingo? Maybe you go I don't know if that's right, but that's what it sounds like to me when I said flute. Next is a zebra. Did you know zebras bark? So can you go? Okay. Next we have a boa constrictor hissing. Can you hiss like a snake? Ready? Stick your tongue out. <laughs> Ready? All right, next in his book is an elephant. And that's my favorite. Ready? Here we go. <gasps> Can you do an elephant? Ready? <gasps> Good job. Next, we have a leopard snarling. Can you snarl? <sighs> to make yourself look fierce. Next is a peacock yelping. Ready? Okay, then we have a walrus bellowing. Can you bellow like a walrus? All right, then we have a zookeeper whistling. Can you whistle? Ready? Here we go. I'm going to get close to the mic so you can hear me. Ready? I'm not a very good whistler. Did you like that, though? All right, good job. You did all the fun animal sounds. Do you have a favorite animal sound to make? Can you make it for me? I'm listening. You ready? Wow, that was quite the fun animal sound. So, should we do the big word of the month? Or should we? No. We should go read another story first and do the big word. Let's go. And we're back at the comfy chair. Oh, I'm always glad to be back with you to read another story. 
Our last book is called Chicken Chuck. And as always, it's by Bill Martin Jr. This one is illustrated by Stephen uh, Sal Salerno. And it's, it's a funny story. I think you're going to find it funny. Are you ready? A rooster named Chicken, Ch Chicken Cluck lived in a model barnyard. More than anything else, he liked to eat. He had three meals a day and snacks in between. One day, Chicken Chuck found a big blue seed in the barn in the farmyard. When he ate it, something strange happened. What do you think happened? A bright blue feather sprouted right in the middle of his forehead. It grew and grew and grew. Look at that feather. Where did you get that feather? Cackled Hen, hen of the Hen. I want one too. I ate a seed, crowed Chicken Chuck, and this bright blue feather sprouted. I like the feather, hissed Snecky the Goose. Me too, grunted Blimpy the Pig. I want one like that, brayed Donnie the Donkey. I eat seeds, said Butterfat the Cow, but I don't have a feather on my head. This was a very special seed, Chicken Cluck said proudly. Perhaps you will find one too. So everyone gobbled seeds and waited for blue feathers to sprout. Nothing happened. Chicken cluck, chuck, chuckled. That's a, that's a very literary sentence. I'm the boss of the barnyard for I have the, I, only I have the bright blue feather. Right there. And he became very bossy indeed. He made Necky the goose wash her neck. He made donkey the Donnie the donkey wash his behind his ears. He made Blumpy the pig curl the little pig's tails. See what they're doing? There's there's Necky. There's Donnie. It's Blumpy. He made Pluck the duck give her give the ducklings baths every morning. And he made the little chicks hold their fat little gizzards. One morning, a man came to the farmyard and posted a pasted a poster on the barn. It was a picture of circus animals and circus clowns. See here, see here, his Necky the Goose. The white horse on the picture has two blue feathers. Let's count them. One, two. On his head. And he's even more handsome than Chicken Chuck. Even more handsome than Chicken Chuck, echoed Pluck the Duck, Blumpy the Pig. Everyone in the barnyard admired the circus horse. He had two blue feathers. Chicken Chuck. Chicken Chuck only had one. Oh, drumsticks! screamed Chicken Chuck. That can't be true. Feathers don't grow on horses. Perhaps they do, said Butterfat the cow. That horse may have eaten a blue seed like you ate. See, there's Chicken Chuck right there. He's, they're all fussy. Chicken Chuck slunk into the hen house. His bright blue feather drooped. For days he gobbled seeds, hoping to sprout a second blue feather. But the feather did not sprout. One morning, half past daybreak, break, Chicken Chuck, Chicken Chuck, stormed out of the hen house. I'm going to the circus, he squawked. We shall see what that horse really has feathers on his head. He's going to the circus. Everyone followed Chicken Chuck. As he strutted down the circus, he saw tigers and the lions and the bears. He saw a giraffe and an elephant, but he didn't see the white horse with blue feathers on his head. Look at all the things he's seeing over here. Look at all the circus people. Well, clabber milk, said Butterfat the cow. Look here. Everyone crowded around to see a little monkey fast asleep. Wake up, you! Screamed Chicken Chuck. Where could I find the little... The white horse that has blue feathers on its head. Achoo! 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 
Achoo! A monkey blinked and began to sneeze. Achoo! 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 Blue feathers make me sneeze, he said. Achoo! He grabbed Chicken Chuck's bright blue feather. Chicken Chuck squawked. He hopped. He bucked. He flapped his wings and screeched, but the monkey held on. Quick as a flash, he pulled out Chicken Chuck's feather, bright blue feather. He threw it as far as he could. My feather! My bright, beautiful blue feather, squawked Chicken Chuck. You pulled out my bright, beautiful blue Beautiful blue feather. I'm sorry, sneezed the monkey. As tears rolled down his cheeks, I don't, I chew, don't, I chew. I don't like blue feathers. They make me cough. They make me sneeze. Chicken Chuck began to cry. Don't be sad, said the monkey. I gave you lots of blue feathers. You can, said Dotty the monkey and Blumpy the pig and Pluck the duck. Can you give each of us a blue feather? Yes, come with me, wheezed the monkey. But I warn you, I may sneeze some more. Everyone followed the monkey to the white horse's stall. Look, screamed Chicken Ch Chuck. There's the white horse. He does have two blue feathers, but they are tied to his head. See, they're tied to his head. See the ropes right there? Of course, sneezed the monkey. There's a box of blue feathers like the one on the white horse. Please take all the blue feathers back to your barnyard. Achoo! Now the modest, modest barnyard is a mass of bobbing blue feathers. Pluck the duck, Hen of the hen, Necky the goose, Blimpy the pig, and even Donny the donkey and Butterfoot the cow wear bright blue feathers right in the middle of their foreheads. Chicken Chuck wears two blue feathers, but he isn't satisfied. He hopes someday he will find a blue seed that will make him sprout, that will make a blue feather sprout right in the middle of his forehead. And wasn't that a silly story? Can you imagine eating something that makes a feather sprout right in the middle of your forehead? That's so silly. Let's go do the big word of the month. And then we'll come right back here and I'll sh tell you about a craft I'd like you for you to do. Let's go. We have a double big word for this time, for this month. We have author and illustrator. And we're going to do it just a little bit different. For this month, we're going to do, in a book, the author writes the words and the illustrator colors the pictures. Can you do it with me? We're going to do it three times. Get into your brain. Ready? One, two, three. In a book, the author writes the words and the illustrator colors the pictures. Ready? Here we go again. Ready? One, two, three. In a book, the author writes the words and the illustrator colors the pictures. One more time. Ready? One, two, three. In a book, the author writes the words, the illustrator colors the pictures. Good job. Let's go find out what our craft will be today. A fun craft for you to make would be to make an animal face. Whether you use a paper plate and make a lion's mane around you, or maybe you do some, some raccoon eyes, or maybe you could make a puppet with a paper bag. I don't have any craft materials with me today. I would have made one, but I can't wait to hear what you guys make. I am so excited to hear. I will see you next time where we will talk more about one more author. Have a great day. Bye.